The WNBA world was hit with shocking news. Angel Reese, the rising star of the Chicago Sky, is sidelined for the rest of the season due to a serious wrist injury. This bombshell came after a hard-fought game against the Los Angeles Sparks, and it has sent shockwaves through the league. In the aftermath of this devastating news, Indiana fever sensation Caitlin Clark stepped up to send a powerful, heartfelt message to her fellow rookie and rival. Clark, who has been lighting up the league, showed pure class by delivering a clear message to Reese during this tough time, proving once again that despite fierce competition, there's always respect between the league's biggest stars. Yeah, I think it's obviously definitely sad anytime you see anybody go down with an injury, especially people that you came into this league with, whether it was Cam, whether it was Angel, and especially Angel, like, you want to see her finish out this year. Obviously, she's had a historic year, and she's done some incredible things, and, um, for me, like getting to play against her, like her motor is up there, if not the best in the league. Like she just doesn't stop working. So, um, you know, congratulations to her. I thought she had a tremendous year, um, and I thought she came to the league and really did what she's done well her entire career, as long as I've known her. So it's definitely devastating. That's never, never anything you want to see from a player. Um, and then obviously our rookie class has kind of been hit with a few more injuries than you you would have liked to see. And I think I don't know. I mean, for myself, I think just. Some of those things you can't avoid, especially in their two instances. Obviously, I don't know the specific details, but um, that's kind of what comes with basketball at times. So, um, you know, it's sad for them, but I think at the same time for myself, is just continue to take care of your body, take care of yourself. It becomes a long season, especially when you're playing games with one day in between. Like, you really have to prioritize that. Um, but like I said, some of those things are just unavoidable, and, and it's sad to see. Reese took to social media late Saturday night to confirm the rumors herself. Her rookie season has come to a heartbreaking end. She wrote, What a year! I never would have imagined the last bucket of my rookie season would be a three, but maybe that was God saying, give them a taste of what they will be seeing more of in year two, lol. I'm filled with emotions right now that I have a season-ending injury, but also filled with so much gratitude for what is next. Although this is God's timing and not mine, I am finally able to give myself a physical and mental break. With Caitlin Clark all night tonight. Are you talking about my high school experience? <laughs> Clark connects. Back Benley. Here's Clark. A good look from three. She got it. Seattle. Reese driving in with the left hand. Right at Magnagore trying to pick up a second foul. Didn't, but got Leading score tied now with Skylar Diggins Smith. Reese, the flip shot with the right hand. No good, but gets her own rebound. Again, goes through traffic and scores. The WNBA Rookie of the Year debate is heating up, and it's all about two of the biggest stars making waves in the league. Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. These two rookies aren't just changing the game. They're rewriting the rules. Caitlin Clark, the 22-year-old WNBA number one pick, is turning heads for the Indiana Fever. This rookie hasn't just stepped into the league. She's stormed through it. Clark has played and started in all 35 games this season, putting in over 35 minutes a game, proving she's a straight-up workhorse. Known for her sharp shooting at Iowa, she's brought that lethal touch to the pros, knocking down three three-pointers per game on 34.9% from deep. But hold on, it's not just about her shooting anymore. Clark has evolved into a scoring machine, a pace setter, and the engine driving the fever. Six on the shot clock, Clark, a deep three! Oop, that is! Other because of her experience and maturity. Nice look from Clark and Smith lays it home. So you have two is so Samuelson at the four. Clark okay. bounce pass it Smith again. When the fever started the season 1-8, many thought it was over. But since the Olympic break, Clark has shifted into another gear, averaging 24.6 points, nine assists, and five rebounds per game. The Fever have gone 7-2, secured a playoff spot, and with Clark leading the charge, they're gunning for a higher seed. But here's the kicker. Caitlin Clark is playing like a top-five player in the league. No, she's not Wilson of Las Vegas Aces yet, but she's knocking on that door. She's the one defenses are trying and failing to stop. Clark's offensive firepower is unmatched, and her insane ability to create for herself and her teammates is just unreal. She's the player no one wants to see in the playoffs. Clark has space. She's going to let it fly, and she's going to connect. Oh, Caitlin Clark. 
exactly with which Caitlin Clark handles right here. She crosses sides of the floor. She gets her hips and shoulders past Laney, and she leans. Before from the floor, Clark, good feed inside. It's Samuelson. Now let's talk about Angel Reese, the Chicago Sky's star forward, and a rebounding machine. Reese has been absolutely dominating the glass, leading the league with 13.1 rebounds per game. Her physical presence inside is unmatched, and she's been the key to the Sky's interior defense and offense. You don't want to go up against Angel in the paint? That's a fact. With 13.6 points per game, Reese is doing her part on offense too, but her relentless hustle and determination on the boards are what separate her from the pack. In any other year, Reese would be an easy Rookie of the Year pick. But here's where it gets interesting. As great as Reese has been, Clark has been on another level as an all-around player. And that's where the debate begins. Is it really fair to compare these two? Reese has the grit, no doubt, but Clark, she's the one with that Kobe Bryant-like impact on the game. We're talking LeBron James, Michael Jordan levels of influence. She's the player who does it all, scoring, passing, rebounding, leading, and winning. Is the president of oh. the NBA players. Not about the coaching and how they were able to keep people together. Let's dive into the head-to-head -head numbers. In their four matchups, Clark's Fever have taken three out of four games against Reese's Sky. Clark has averaged 20.5 points, 10 rebounds, and 8.5 assists in those games. On the other side, Reese has been a beast on the boards with 13.5 rebounds, but only 13.3 points per game. The numbers don't lie. Clark has been the difference maker, but here's the real talk. Is it even a debate anymore? Reese is being dragged into a comparison she can't win right now. It's like comparing a Dennis Rodman to a Michael Jordan. Both legends, but one clearly has a bigger impact on the game overall. Reese is incredible at what she does, but Clark does everything at a higher level. That's why it's hard to argue with the fact that Clark has already locked up the Rookie of the Year. Not only that, but she's making a strong case to be in the MVP conversation, standing tall with the likes of Wilson. And if you still think this race is close, you're in for a rude awakening. There's no question, the race for Rookie of the Year is over. After what they did to the sky, after they've won their fourth straight, after they're over 500, they were just 500 the other day for the first time in two years when they were two and two. These, they, they doing their thing. And Caitlin Clark, last 12 games, 23.4 points or 47% shooting, second leading scorer in the entire WNBA. But 10.6 assists for Caitlin Clark. Leads the lead. She's the league assist leader, okay? Now, Caitlin Clark has been flat out balling, and she has elevated her level of play to a point. There is no debate. I understand Angel Reese has been doing a thing with the double-doubles, like 24 straight double-doubles and all yep. this. Major props to her, and she deserves, she's going to be number two, but Caitlin Clark going to win rookie of the year. Caitlin Clark is in the conversation. She ain't going to win it. Because Asia Wilson there. But Caitlin Clark is in the conversation for league MVP. I don't know if you already know that, but she in the conversation. Caitlin Clark is way better, way sooner than anybody thought. And if you think the players in this league are a little petty now, what's going to happen next year when she's maybe the best player in the league? And what's going to happen if she wins a playoff series? Remember, this is a young and ascending Indiana team. They have multiple former number one picks, none of them yet in their prime. This is the Taylor Swift Fearless Tour. She was a star. She won the megastar. She is now, outside of Asia Wilson, she's in an argument for the second most valuable and important player in the league. You know, player of the month. She is a completely different player after the All-Star game. She went from shooting 40% to 48%. That's a different player. Clark has turned the Indiana Fever from a bottom dweller into a playoff team, breaking records left and right, while Reese's Chicago Sky are still trying to find their footing. This Rookie of the Year battle may seem close on the surface, but when you dig deeper, Clark is in a league of her own. Because when you've got Caitlin Clark on the floor, anything is possible. She's not just a rookie anymore. She's the centerpiece, the star. The player, everyone in the WNBA is trying to figure out how to stop. But here's the truth. They can't.
Clark is relentless, and the way she's elevated her game since the start of the season is nothing short of legendary. Even the best defenses can't figure out how to contain her, and it's not just about the points she scores. It's how she creates opportunities for her teammates, how she controls the pace, and how she thrives in the clutch moments. Every time Clark steps onto the court, she's making a statement, I'm here, and I'm not slowing down. The Indiana Fever have their first playoff berth since 2016. I think she should be up for MVP. Rookie of the year, foregone conclusion. But I think MVP now, but I'm talking about value now. Value to a franchise, value to a league, getting your team in the playoffs. The fact that she is doing what she's doing and at a very high level, you know, it's now commonplace where she'll go for 26 and 12. I mean, those are great numbers for any player, no matter how long you've been in the league. She's learned how to play the game. But when it comes to making an all-around impact on the game, Clark's versatility blows everyone else out of the water. It's like she's playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. The WNBA is a league of stars, and this season two of the brightest are Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. But there's only room for one Rookie of the Year, and right now Clark's got her foot on the gas, leaving everyone else in the dust. What do you think? Is Clark already the runaway Rookie of the Year, or does Reese still have a shot? Could we see them share the award, or is this Clark's year to dominate? Hit the comments with your take on the debate, and trust me, no matter what happens, the WNBA is lucky to have both of these stars, but Clark? She's already writing her legacy. But one thing's for sure, no one's going to want to face the fever come playoff time. 17 and 16 extend their win streak to four. Their three-game win streak snapped. But they get it. This was one of the most entertaining games I think we've seen, Nancy.